Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Wagner here, and in this video, I want to do a review of Brave Archer and his mate. This is the number fourth movie in the Brave Archer series from 1982, directed Chang Che. Directed this as well with Alexander Fusheng, Philip Kwok, a bunch of Venom Mob members as well, and uh, classic vintage martial arts uh, drama and uh, kung fu in it. Uh, this time around, Alexander Fusheng plays a different character in the movie. If you've been watching The Brave Archer 1, 2, and 3, that arc, that story kind of closes, and now Brave Archer and his mate opens up kind of a new chapter. And it's very jarring and very hard to follow what's going on because a lot of the actors, a lot of the roles um, change over. A lot of the, the actors changing roles swap. Um, it's interesting, Alexander Fushang doesn't even show up into this movie until about the 30 minute mark. And you're kind of saying, hey, wait a second, where's, where's Alexander Fushang? I mean, you know, he is prominently featured on the cover here. So you're like waiting and waiting, eating your popcorn and waiting and it's not till 30 minutes in that you actually get to see him but uh the good news is Philip Kwok who's a great Shaw Brothers actor and martial artist and acrobat uh, takes over the role formerly played by Fu Shang and he he's fun to watch and uh, he's kind of the older we kind of age him up there he's kind of a little more older and wiser in this movie and we get to see uh that side of things uh again like I said a lot of other actors and characters were swapped out so it made it very difficult to follow the story in this one or dare I say lack of story I mean I know this is based off of literary material and it's deep and rich and historic but for somebody like me going into this um and watching it and trying to absorb things uh you know it's it, it can be you know a, a task to sort of follow along so um there is some uh, back and forth drama in the first half and the second half sees some decent martial arts movies with the Venom Mob or most of the Venom Mob members uh, back again towards the end of the back end of the movie to uh, salvage things and some of that is really fun. So sort of the, the pros is the, the Venom Mobs are in this movie. Let's see, they, uh, they're in some of the, the, the cover there. We get some of the, uh, the Philip Kwok on the cover there and then you flip it around and we get to see some great... Uh, group shots there. We get to see the um, the Big Dipper uh, Kung Fu martial arts specialty where some of the monks get together and hold each other's shoulder and they're kind of somewhat invincible um, as they as they have a little martial arts battle. But, you know, we can see that that's breakable. Um, so some things to enjoy, some things not to enjoy. Uh, mostly the things that I didn't like was just like all the new characters getting recast and the plot very convoluted. But when there is fighting and martial arts and things like that going on, you know, it's kind of fun to watch. Although, you know, Alexander Fushang, I'm a big fan, takes a big backseat in the movie. I mean, there's not a lot of him fighting. And even in the like the last big battle, he's kind of like sitting out of it, kind of uh, watching along, doing uh, comedy routines and stuff with a, you know, sidekick there and, and not really that involved. So... Kind of would have liked to seen that um, played out a little differently. As far as this disc goes, um, we do get a great audio commentary by Frank Chang from the New York Asian Film Festival and a theatrical trailer. I listened to the commentary. Uh, Frank, um, if you've known some of his commentaries, he's, he's very, he's like an encyclopedia of knowledge. His presentation is very uh, clear and pre precise and um, he juggles many, uh, he tackles and juggles a lot of information dumps, you know, along the way in the movie and stuff. So it actually makes it very entertaining just to watch it with a commentary that the second time around. So I'm going to give this letter grade a C minus. So the brave archer and his mate grade C minus. Let me know what you think of uh, these Shaw Brothers classic movies in the comments below for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.